The keyframe is one of the main tools you use when working in Adobe After Effects. Knowing how to apply and manipulate them is very important when working in the program. I'm going to go over some advanced tips and tricks when working with keyframes in After Effects. In particular, I'm going to show you five methods to help bring some life to our airplane graphic here. So the way keyframes work in Adobe After Effects is you add two keyframes at different times, you apply them to a specific property with different values, and the keyframes will bring that property to life for the layer. So let's say we want to make our plane graphic here do a barrel roll. So what we would do is we would add a keyframe for rotation by clicking the stopwatch icon over here, and then we go to a different part of our timeline and change the value and then it will bring this, it will interpolate or bring this a property to life. So I'll go over here and one way I could do this is I could go over here and quickly adjust the degrees or the number of rotations here. But let me show you a fast way. I'm going to add another keyframe and if you go over here you can more precisely edit values by double clicking directly on the keyframe. This is going to bring up a dialog box here for our specific property and the values. So I want my plane to do a barrel roll so I'm going to add one revolution and click OK. And we don't see much happen here, but if I start to scrub in between the two keyframes, we'll see that now our plane does a quick barrel roll. So let's go over here and just play this back. There we go, simple, simple animation. So now let me quickly do the same with position. Now I want to have this barrel roll, but slightly go from left to right. So it's over here to the left and we're, as it barrel rolls it's going to go a little bit over to the right. So I'm going to add a position keyframe and let me double click this and if you look at the position here I can change the units by which I adjust. So if I go down to percentage of composition I can do some pretty precise editing here. So I'm going to go to percent of composition. Right now it's at 50 percent for X and Y which means it's right in the middle. So I want to go to the X value and let's say we want it to start at 40%. So that's going to move it off to the left at 40%. And now I'm going to go over to this side. And let me add another keyframe. And quickly double click, change this back to percent of composition. And we'll change X to 60. And now it's equidistant from both sides since we plugged in the exact percentage it's 40% uh, from the side of each four. So it makes it pretty mathematically precise. So now let's go over here and take a look. And looking pretty good there. And now to smooth this animation out, I can adjust these keyframes and add some quick ease and outs. I'm gonna control click here and under keyframe assistant, I'm gonna add an easy ease out and then an easy ease in to adjust the speed of our animation here. So let's have a look. There we go. Nice little barrel roll with our plane. Now when you create an animation like this in After Effects, it's usually in a linear fashion, meaning that, for instance, this plane is barrel rolling from left to right, and it's moving in position from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen. Now let's say we want to change that. We want it to actually do the opposite. We want it to start here, barrel roll this way, and move in position this way. So now we can move our keyframes, or we could delete these and re-keyframe it. But a very fast, short little hack here is I can grab two keyframes, and then I can control click, and go to keyframe assistant, and choose time reverse keyframes. This is also available up in the animation section here. You can go to animation, keyframe assistant, time reverse. And now we can see that our plane is going from the right side of the screen to the left, but our rotation is still going in the wrong direction. So I'm going to undo and just show you that we can actually select all of these keyframes at once. Control click, keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes. And now I have an animation that is exactly the reverse. And this works for if you have multiple keyframes in here, it's going to reverse all of the keyframes. You don't have to use it on just two specific keyframes. So for this example, I have an airplane flying into frame, turning abruptly, and flying out of the top of the screen here. Now, as I stated before, when you add keyframes in After Effects and you change the value of those keyframes in between, 
After Effects essentially interpolates the information in between those keyframes. So now let me show you how we can change the way After Effects interpolates this data. So I'm going to select our center keyframe here, which is where the plane turns. And I'm going to control click over here, go to keyframe interpolation. This is going to launch the keyframe interpolation dialog box. And if you look up here, there's two different interpolation methods. You can change the temporal interpolation and you can change the spatial interpolation. Temporal is simply relating to the keyframes down here on your timeline. It has to do with time. Spatial has to do with space, and it's referring to the keyframes over here on your composition panel. You can control these um, individually. So now let's go over and change our spatial interpolation. If we look, we have a couple of different methods here. We have linear, bezier, continuous bezier, and auto bezier. Bezier is going to just give us curves here, which we can control with handles. Now, I'm going to select continuous bezier. Now, real quickly, the difference between these three bezier methods are we have continuous which gives us these handles if we can grab one it's going to move the other standard bezier allows us to control these separately and auto bezier is going to automatically suggest what the best best methods are here or the best settings so now that i've selected continuous bezier you can see we have this curve here and i grab my handle and i can start to control how my plane moves here. So I'm going to add a bit of a curve, go over here to the head of our comp and play it back and now we have a smooth turn here. Now while we do have a much smoother turn it's still not perfect because as soon as it hits this turn keyframe it kind of ramps up in speed and we want to control the speed we want it to be kind of standard throughout. We want it to be the same speed even when it turns. We don't want it to jump up in speed. Now, if I select my layer, you can take a look. And if you see these little dots in between the keyframes, this is in relation to the speed of, of the keyframe here, how it's interpolated. So for instance, if I grab this keyframe here, which is in relation to this one, and I start to move it temporally in time, and let's say I move it to an earlier position, it's gonna speed it up, right? Now watch what happens to those little dots up here. Watch what happens to these dots up here. They're starting to get bigger and bigger, which is basically means this is going to ramp up the speed here. Now let's watch this animation. It's just going to be awful. It's like hits the, the nitro boost there. So we're going to move this back. And even if I can, if I move my center keyframe here, you're going to notice all these little dots move in conjunction. So now I can kind of eyeball this here to make my dots kind of equal, but a real fast way to do this is to change the interpolation of this center keyframe to basically interpolate and rove uh, across time. So to do that, I can select my keyframe, control click, and I can select rove across time here, or I can go back to the keyframe interpolation dialog box, and there's a roving section here. And right now it's selected uh, lock to time, which means it's gonna lock to the position, but I'm gonna select rove across time and select OK. And as I click OK, watch what happens. Our keyframe has moved a little bit and it's looking a little bit different here. Now, if I adjust any of the adjacent keyframes, our center keyframe is going to adjust accordingly. And if you look here, spatially it stays the same, but temporarily down here it's moving according. So now if I, I speed up or slow this down, it's going to be a smooth animation same speed throughout. So expressions allow you to apply advanced effects to properties without having to do massive amounts of work in keyframing by hand in After Effects. You can write expressions using standard JavaScript language, however you don't necessarily need to know JavaScript language. So you can create expressions quickly by copying simple examples and modifying them to suit your needs. So to apply an expression to a property, I'm going to go over here. So let's say we want to add like a turbulence effect. So we want this graphic to wiggle and move around. So let's go over here to position. I'm going to do keyboard shortcut P to select the position. So to add an expression to this position, I'm going to hold the Alt key and click on the stopwatch. And now you'll see there's a text box over here with transform position, and there's an expression right here. Now if you go over here to the expression language menu, I can go over and find our wiggle effect. And there's just a plethora of things here. And again, you don't need to know how to write the language. If you do a simple Google of After Effects expressions and specifically what you're looking for, 
you can copy paste from the internet and then adjust to meet your needs. I'm going to add the wiggle expression here. And I'm going to delete all this information in the middle. And I'm going to tell it to basically wiggle with an amplitude and a frequency of 5 to 10. I'm going to click outside of the box here. Now let's see if our expression has taken effect. I'm going to hit the space bar. And there we go. Simple as that. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Jason, why are you teaching us about expressions when this is an advanced keyframing uh, tutorial? So this is where this comes in. If you want to work with keyframes, you can select your property here. Let me stop this. You can select your property in the layer, go to Animation, Keyframe Assistant, and then you can convert this expression to keyframes. And then, boom, you can see down here I've got all my keyframes and I can adjust accordingly and go crazy with all of these position keyframes. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments section. Give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. I'm working hard on future tutorials, so be sure to subscribe to the channel. Or you can visit my website at boonlovesvideo.com to check out more content. If you have a tutorial request, just shoot me a message and I'll create something specifically for you. Alright, I'll see you next time.